Season 13 is just about to kick off, and with that, a new ranked format is going to be hitting Apex. But with that new ranked format, players are really going to be tested on if they deserve specific ranks or not. And by the looks of things, this will be the hardest, most competitive season of ranked we have had to date. And everyone is going to be tested harder than a guy whose girlfriend found a hair tie in his car. So hello everyone, I'm your hostess with the mostest, 8 Second Gaming, and in today's video I'm going to be breaking down a few vital tips for the first split of Season 13 and set you guys up for success. Now you guys entrust Game League to bring you Apex tips because we're the best. So guys, why not trust Manscaped to take care of your body because they're the best in men's grooming care. Manscaped and Game Leap have recently partnered up because we want you guys to go into spring smelling the best that you can. And Manscaped was actually really kind and sent me a care package including some of their amazing items like this shampoo and conditioner mix, their body wash, some deodorant, and even some body spray. Now I really like this stuff, it's really small, it's compact, it fits perfectly in my gym bag so after I'm done working out I don't smell like raunchy swamp ass. And although I play Apex and don't talk to females, I'm sure if I did they would all compliment how amazing I smell after using Manscaped products. So if you guys want to smell amazing too, go click the link in the description, pick yourself up some product, but don't forget to use code HOSTESS at checkout for 20% off plus free shipping. So go now. Okay, but now, Season 13 is starting off on Stormpoint, and I know that a lot of players aren't the biggest fans of that map, but guys, it is the best ranked map that we have right now. Most people aren't fans of Stormpoint because they don't like the pub games on it, because it is a big map. But that's actually the reason that it's such an amazing ranked map. The size of the map allows you to take nice isolated fights and not have to worry as much about third parties. Now, Stormpoint has a ton of amazing drop spots and almost anywhere you pick will be good to land, but there are some spots that I will recommend for you to try out. Number 1 is Lightning Rod. Lightning Rod is a prime spot for this map. Normally a prime spot is a large area near the middle to give good loot and rotation options. But on Stormpoint a lot of circles end near Lightning Rod or on that hillside of the map. And for this one it is a lot better to be on that large hill to begin with so that you don't have to fight up it as the game goes on. And the rod also has a ton of loot to begin with and even more options of unnamed locations as you make moves around the map so your team will get a lot of gear. But next up coming in at number 2 we have North Pad, another north location I know, but North Pad is by far my favorite spot on this map to land for ranked. The first time we had Storm Point this was literally the only spot my team would land and it got us to masters so I might be a bit biased on this but it does offer every Everything a team needs. It has good rotations, good loot, and now with the down beast POI coming into the game right beside it, North Pad now offers even more third party options. Before you just had checkpoint to third party, but now you can pick between checkpoint and the beast to give your team even more opportunity for KP. And with no max KP next season, this will be a great option for aggressive teams. And now option number three is Sent Out Cave. Now this is a spot that I never really took notice of until I started to drop there. There was a day that my team was forced to drop there in scrims and there was a surprising amount of stuff there for my team to pick from. There's tons of loot, rotation options, and lots of third party potential with mill and barometer being right there. Not as many circles pulled down to this area so that would probably be more of an aggressive edge style teams drop spot but still a very good spot to play if needed. Now of course the drop spot is important but something that is also very important is the legend that you play. Everyone has their favorite legend but Storm Point is a map that really requires a solid team so if you're looking for some inspiration on a new main, check out some of these. First up, we have Bloodhound. Stormpoint has a lot of rat spots, choke points, and weird areas that teams like to sit in. And in Season 13, I am expecting a lot more rat style plays from teams to gain more KP, so having a Bloodhound on your team will be make or break for a lot of players. The scans, footprints, and overall brokenness of their ultimate is something a team will get a ton of use out of and really set a lot of people up for success in the long run. Now, for some people, 
people this season, you may have been playing Seer and wondering if he would be a good option here. And yes, Seer can be played instead of Bloodhound. The main reason that I advise people to play Bloodhound is because they are a lot more beginner friendly, so someone can pick up Bloodhound and have an easier time on them. Seer takes a little bit more time to get used to his playstyle and abilities, but depending on who you want to play, both will be fine here. Now the next legend that I want to talk about is going to be Valkyrie. And guys, do keep in mind that I am recording this video before the patch notes have come out. So if Valkyrie does receive some nerfs, I will be making updated videos later on. But as of right now, Valkyrie is pretty much a must have on a team when it comes to Stormpoint. The map has a lot of hard rotation options, cliffs, ledges, and other things like that, that some legends just cannot rotate through easily. But with a Valkyrie on the team, a lot more options open up to people and she is always a solid addition to have. So if you're struggling on who to play, I always suggest you pick up a Valkyrie. And I've got one more legend for you guys. This is going to be Ash. Ash is probably the best entry fragger to have on a team when it comes to Stormpoint. Her ultimate is fantastic and because it happens right away, she can get teams out of rough situations. But her passive is what really makes her shine on this map. Being able to see where all of the fights are going down on the map is huge information a lot more people need to take notice of. So if you're someone who plays Wraith, Octane, or someone like that, maybe try dropping them and picking up Ash for a little bit. Now moving on, we get to talk about everyone's favorite thing, what weapons you're going to want to use. Well, to start off, the flatline is coming out of the crafter and the R301 is going in. So for ground blue assault rifles, the go-to is of course going to be the flatline. It is such a strong gun and carries fights easily and I highly recommend it. But if you have crafting at your drop location, picking up an R301 is never going to be a bad option. I know this season my team always looked for crafters to pick up flatlines. So I'm going to assume a lot of the time we're going to do the same thing for 301s next season. Now next up is the Spitfire. It is coming out of the care package and growing into ground loot once again. And though it is losing its barrel stabilizer, I don't really think it needed one. The recoil was already easy to control. So the Spitfire is probably going to be carrying a lot of noobs and making fights absolute hell. Now, they may nerf the damage a bit, but I don't think that'll change much on the gun. It is very strong, so it will probably be a solid pickup no matter what they do to it. But also, Stormpoint has a ton of really open sniper lanes that teams have rough times pushing through. If you are able to hold these with a sniper or marksman rifle, you will be able to nab a ton of kills throughout the split. So picking up something like a triple take, 30-30, or any of the snipers will always be great options too. But now guys, real talk here, this season is going to be hard to adjust to for a lot of people. Things will seem wonky for the first little bit while everyone really gets used to the new system. So if you are having issues in ranked and aren't sure what to do, you'll definitely want to smash that like and subscribe button in order to stay up to date with this channel. As the season progresses, we will continue to update you with all of the latest and greatest Apex Legends tips, tricks, and news. So make Make sure to do that to stay up to date with us. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. Thank you all for watching. Once again, I'm 8 Second Gaming and I will see you in the next one.